this is the man who has one of the highest TVQs in television. Who television told you that? quotient. I read it on lots of papers. <laughs> oh, all right. That means that people recognize, know, and generally love him as a man's man, as the, the macho image of life. Isn't that right? Stay with us, stay with us, stay with us. Now, what, what we Can we like... change two things? Sure. Stephanie, if you don't mind. One, I'd like to be known as one of the better actors in television, not this recognizable. Oh. And I did a show that I would very much like you to see and the public that I've been performing for for 21 years. It's called Centennial. Yeah. And I hope that they might see that and say that I've learned a little bit about acting. And, and you're also doing uh, The Wild Wild West again, are you not? Yes. A two-hour special with Ross? <clears throat> a two-hour special? Oh, I couldn't do it without Ross. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's one of the wilds. Indeed. <laughs> and wild, wild west. Uh, well, let's it, not be it, sneaky. Let's bring Ross out. He's around. Yeah. The All right. Ross Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Ross Martin. Move over we closer, Ross. Yeah, she's cute. Come on. <laughs> A little tall, but she's cute. <laughs> Ross Martin is the actor I remember from Experiment in Terror, of which I... Th you were nominated for an Oscar in that role, were you not? Yeah, I was nominated for the Best Supporting... Performance. Not for an Oscar, but for a Globe Award. Oh, that's right. And I was in Spain at the time doing a picture with Lawrence Harvey. But that was a scary picture. Ooh, Ooh. it was. Are you looking forward to the remake of Wild Wild West? Very I know we so. are. I love that, that series. Thank you. Very much so. There was First of all, there's something that, that we had... We've rapped about it for years. Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, there's a magic that happens every now and then between two performers. Mm -hmm. And uh, McLaglin and Lowe had it years ago uh, when they were a team. I, I hate to, you know, use, make comparisons because we're television, it's a whole different medium, mm -hmm. and it's a very intimate medium. We're right in the laps of the audience at home. Sure. Most people watch us, you know, through their feet. <laughs> uh, and that's true, you're lying down yeah. in an easy chair with your yeah. feet up and watching television. But there was something very special about that show. And at the time we were doing it, we were so deeply involved in it. You were, I wasn't aware, were you, Bob? Of, of, we were I just, was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> As you know. We were trying to survive, Do you really. Think that, he says that he wasn't drunk. He was Hi. Friday's <laughs> friendly. <laughs> Do you think time can in any way infringe on that relationship? Do you think it'll be difficult to get it back? I, we've, well, we've been friends, you know, since the closing of that thing, and I think whatever magic we had, we hope to catch echoes of it, particularly since we're not trying to catch exactly the same circumstance. It's these two guys ten years later. Yes, you're playing yourself older. Yeah. Right? They move slower, and you hit a guy and he doesn't go down. <laughs> <laughs> and you make a pass at a girl and she giggles in your nose, Ooh. you know. So it's, it, there's some cute things that happen in it. You know, uh, then the, the macho factor we were talking about before, whether whether you... He gets it again, he gets it back. <laughs> They're not going to let him sit without a girl for too long, Will the trousers be long, just as slim uh, for Bob, do you think, this time around? I'm, I'm, on, my, I'm on my diet right now. He's, he's going to drop you? the weight. Yeah, I want the little tight pants again. Yes, well, you had to gain 20 pounds for Centennial, right? I gained 20 pounds for Centennial, but there's a flamenco dancer in Spain, oh. and he wants me to wear those tight pants. <laughs> yeah. Whatever he wants. I need audience for this show. We, we understand that... Uh, <laughs> We understand that they asked Bob years ago when they began to shoot Wild Wild West to do some of his own stunts, but he was a little afraid of them, and so he asked that uh, his friend Red West be brought in to do the stunts. Isn't that the way the story goes? If you say so, you're <laughs> the hostess, my darling. Yeah. We'd like to meet Red West. Is he hanging around the corner I somewhere? I don't know. I'm not his mother. I don't know I'm where Red sure West is. I'm sure he is. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome Red West? I think he's here. <laughs> Hi, John. It's great to be here with my acting teacher and my drinking teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find you guys later. You notice <laughs> he's not telling you which is which for pizza. We used to bend it pretty good come Friday. I think you can tell Red is not the kind of guy you mess around with. We were in the green room and I said to Bob, is this the guy that I'm supposed to punch out? And he said, no, uh, he's the guy who takes care of my light work. <laughs> Did you do stunts for, for Bob? In this? Well, let me see. This was 
one stunt at the piano. The yeah. piano. Piano. This, piano I'm red. You got a new one. show now, Red. Oh, piano. Red. <laughs> this, this arm. We don't say piano in Chicago. Piano. 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 Red has a new television piano. series. That's why I want to correct him. Um, piano. Yeah, I got to lose the southern accent. It's, I hope it's, so. uh, Do you? He says so. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I think you got a great oh, yeah, time. Very good. Great time. And you're a songwriter when you're not banging yourself up. I, I used to be, yes. I've written, uh, well, I guess 50, 50 or so. Mm -hmm. Now, are you going to go back then and work on the Wild Wild West with these fellas? He'd better. I'll probably be there somewhere. You know, it may be tougher for them, but it's got to be deadly for you these years. <laughs> doesn't, it? Yes. doesn't it really? It's taking its toll. Are they going to hire some more younger stunt men to. <laughs> 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 Next thing she's going to say is, I'm short. <laughs> never, never, never. How did you meet Bob and Ross and get involved with these characters, having been involved with Elvis Presley at the, at the same time, weren't you? Well, yes. I met Bob uh, through Elvis, playing touch football. <laughs> you call it touch. <laughs> really? I don't know the word for it. I call it kill, you <laughs> maniac. You were all, you, Elvis was playing uh, touch football with Elvis Bob? Elvis was playing, and in order to get to Elvis, you had to get by red, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from Chicago, see, and we don't go for that celebrity status stuff. I figured he's just a man, got two legs, two arms, I'm going to grab him. Red said, but he's my man, baby. You ain't gonna grab nothing. <laughs> and it wasn't fun. I still remember it. It was but years stayed, ago. You stayed good friends all the way through yes, this stuff. I'm Not sure. that day. And you, but you continue to drink together to forget all the pain. No, I made a long right? distance call that day. I said, listen, <clears throat> Menudo. It's one of these hillbillies tried to kill me today. I said, where? He said, on the football field. I well. But why did the friendship develop? It could have just as easily been a rivalry or, or dislike of each other. I think other. it was guilt. <laughs> Bob had to throw red in, in one of the scenes. It was this oh, big gosh, fight scene. Oh, gosh, what a great scene. Ross was in that, too. Tremendous, yeah, great oh. tremendous fight sequence. And uh, red, red was playing the heavy in this thing, doubling somebody and doing the stunt. And Bob grabbed him and threw him down a bar length, wasn't it? Yeah, Into a, a piano. Mm. And uh, there was something there that wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah. And red hit it and Did went you? right into the piano and opened his head, I mean, we, we thought sure that on tech, in technical it would be unusable. It would look like the whole head's bloodied out. You couldn't see anything. You couldn't see anything, but how many stitches did that take? Oh, about 60, I don't know, inside and out, but the first face I, I remember seeing is him. My God. Oh. <laughs> Can I do Ross for you? I thought it was a well. <clears throat> Ross is, I was pale. is, in my opinion, <laughs> In, in the same category in league with Richard Chamberlain, one of the great actors. And the reason that we love that show is because we gave it all we, both knees it's called, and I love him as an actor, as a person, well, uh, anyway. Best you can. We're doing the sequence, right? And Ross was always so disciplined. I was always looking for the phone, you know, to say, hey, I want to buy a stock. Well, I know from a stock, but it was impressive. People got impressed. Now, Red goes, hits the thing, and Ross goes, Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! I thought he'd killed it. Oh, I, know, it tough I was doing my macho man. I went, sure. what is it? I went, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can he gonna, sue? These guys are going to stick around and talk about what it means to be macho uh, just a little bit later. Now that we got him, we don't want to let him get, uh, get away. So we'll be back with him in a bit.